Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we are going to discuss the appointment of the Director in Research and Analysis Wing, Porja. You have been following this, these set of issues, shall we say the administrative issues that have happened in the last phase of the Modi government. This is the first, shall we say, important appointment which has been done, apart from the IB chief also being appointed. But Mr. Samant Goel, who has been appointed as head of RAW, has had or had issues which was raised last time in a uh, writ petition filed by the DIG in, uh, in CBI mm -hmm. on the Astana issue where there was cases, counter cases involving the, uh, the CBI chief and his assistant Mr. Astana. Mm -hmm. now, he was a special director. Special director. Now, do you see that there is there are sort of question mark about Mr. Samant Goel's role uh, earlier? Because he was also earlier in, he was in role. He, he was in fact special secretary. Special secretary. And now he's the head. So do you see that his role earlier in what Mr. Uh, uh, Sinha had raised, was the DIG, uh, C, the CBI at that point of time, that there's some question marks raised about his role? Yes, if you go along by the affidavit that was placed on the 20th of November 2018 by the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Mr. Manish Sinha. But let's take first look at the appointment. Mr. Samand Goel, who is now the head of the Research and Analysis Wing, which is the Government of India's external intelligence agency and it comes under the cabinet secretariat. He is uh, an IPS officer and, and uh, he belongs to the Punjab cadre. He jo joined the Indian Police Service in 1984 and he's been in the past posted uh, outside India in Dubai, in London. He replaces Mr. Anil Dhamsana. Now, Mr. Goel is said to be close to Rakesh Asthana and we know that Mr. Asthana had this running public feud with the former director of the Central Bureau of Investigation, Mr. Alok Verma, and both of them were removed from their position in the infamous so-called midnight coup on the night of the 23rd and 24th of October 2017. So, Alok Verma's petition finally did not bear fruit because he finally did have to retire by a certain date. So he retired. Yeah, that is another story. It gets a little complicated. But the fact is, among the people who were transferred with him that fateful night was the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Manish Kumar Sinha. He was removed, moved from Delhi to Bhopal. And he was the man who was directly investigating allegations against Mr. Verma's then number two, Rakesh Asthana. Now, what has happened is, and this affidavit which was placed in the Supreme Court, and I remember uh, the judges were very upset that it entered the public domain, but once you, you know, put out an affidavit and it's in, 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 in court, then it's not surprising that the contents of that petition uh, enter the public domain. That particular petition had made some very, very serious allegations, uh, not only against Mr. Asthana, but willy-nilly against the new raw chief, Mr. Samant Goel. Essentially what had happened, there was a so-called middleman called Manoj Prasad who had been arrested. He and his brother, Somesh Prasad, are both sons of one Dineshwar Prasad who was earlier joint director in the research and analysis wing and said to be very close to the national security advisor, Ajit Doval. So when Manoj Prasad was arrested. Question, he was very, very surprised that despite his so-called connections, he had been arrested. Now, what was essentially happening? The CBI at that point of time, or let me put it a section of the CBI at that point of time, were investigating allegations against, that had been raised by and against Manoj Prasad by another Hyderabad-based business person called Satish Babu Sana. And these essentially relate to alleged payoffs and bribes in two cases. 
One was the Moen Qureshi, the meat exporters case, alleged money laundering, hawala operations, etc. And the other was the cases against the Sunday Sarah brothers who are in charge of Sterling, Sterling Bartek, who are currently abscond. And apparently some properties have been seized of theirs today, some reports to that effect. So essentially what that affidavit by Manish Kumar Sinha has alleged is that the present raw chief, Mr. Samand Goel, was allegedly involved in trying to protect not only Mr. Asthana, but some of these uh, individuals against whom there are allegations. And uh, nothing has been proved in courts of law, so we don't know. But all I know is these allegations entered the public domain when this affidavit was put uh, in, 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 the, in the court. And, and in the first information report against Manoj Prasad, uh, Mr. Savant uh, Goel's name figures in it. Now, there were a whole lot of other people mentioned in it, including a former minister, a former law secretary, a whole lot of people, and, and uh, they subsequently denied all of this. Now, we haven't had any formal denial from Mr. Savant Goel, but I presume he would also, you know, say that, you know, uh, the, the, the allegations that have been leveled by Mr. Manish Sinha are <laughs> uh, unfounded or without any basis. And I must say something else, Mr. Uh, the DIG of police, Manish Sinha, uh, also <laughs> acquired, I suppose, a certain amount of notoriety when he went and described the CBI in, in rather colourful terms, as well as the Enforcement Directorate. I mean, he, he was actually saying that the government needed to act very, very quickly and to be on the safe side, I must not misquote anybody. So his affidavit alleged that the, the CBI, yes, exact quotes, page 36, there is a pressing need to fix a timeline for investigation of such cases. This is the Mohin Quresh case. So that premier investigating agencies, such as the Central Bureau of Investigation, doesn't become the center for bogus investigation, and the Enforcement Directorate doesn't become the Extortion Directorate. Very this hard words. Very, indeed. very hard words. But again, it's an opinion, so it is not uh, backed up by any further evidence that came to the court and it seems that now with Mr. Uh, Alok Varma being retired, I do not know what is the status of Mr. Astana's uh, being. He's with the uh, bureau that looks into aviation security. From yeah, so he's also been taken out of the CBI. Mm -hmm. So we do not know where these investigations or these issues will go. At the moment, all we can say is Mr. Samad Goel is now going to head raw and it has this petition, or shall we say the allegations that were made by different people, particularly in this petition, have not led to any, shall we say. And, and, and we do not know the veracity of Mr. Manoj Prasad's alleged claims that Mr. Goel is very, very powerful and that he can allegedly finish off and kick out people. Now, again, all of these are allegations. But the fact is, I think his proximity to uh, not just... Uh, Mr. Asthana, but Mr. Ajit Doval is probably uh, cannot be denied. I mean, it's obvious that Mr. Ajit Doval remains a very, very powerful individual as the national security advisor. And clearly, Mr. Goel also uh, has his, uh, what should I say, is, is uh, perceived close, to be close, to him. To, be close yes. to him. Yes. And again, uh, the raw chief needs to have a good working relationship, we could argue, with the NSA anyway. But nevertheless, the important part of it is a lot of these issues which came out in the CBI uh, case, when the two top people fought with each other, really were never put to bed, but has been sort of uh, either sought to be forgotten or have lapsed with time. And this seems to be uh, Mr. Sinha's petition. And seems who to knows be also this what the, the future of these cases and these investigations where they will eventually lead us to. And, and the institutions as well. Thank you, Paranjaya, for being with us, explaining to us what is the background and where these cases at the moment are. 
and also having a look at some of these appointments. This is all the time we have with News Click today. Do keep watching News Click and our programs.